Good morning dear students hope you all are doing good today let us take up a question from the book pathfinder chapter electrostatics the reason i have taken up this question is uh, that my students are giving this chapter test this week so that is why i thought let me take up this question so let's first analyze this four identical metal plates are arranged very close and parallel to each other as shown so we can see here four identical metal plates which are arranged parallel to each other they are very close but i have drawn them a little far so that it is easy for you to visualize what is going on so he has named the plates a b c and d plates a and d are connected across a voltage source which maintains the potential of a higher than that of d by v not so we have a voltage source here v not and the plates a and d are connected by a wire let me now close the switch so that the potential difference between a and d is v not next plates b and c are connected by a short conducting wire for a while and then the wire is removed so this b and c are connected by a short conducting wire okay so these both are connected by a conducting wire for a while and then this wire is removed so after this this wire is removed now the voltage source is removed so let us remove this voltage source also now and then plates a and d are connected by another short conducting wire okay so now find the potential difference between pairs ab ac and bd so what is the potential difference between these two conductors ab then uh, potential difference between these two conductors ac and finally potential difference between b and d so firstly we can consider ab bc and cd as three capacitors and these three capacitors are connected in series let us assume the capacitance of each of this is c not the effective capacitance of these will be c not by 3 now let us close this switch now we can see the charges which appear on the different sides of metallic plates on this side we have cv not by 3 on this side we have minus cv not by 3 on this side cv not by 3 and so on next let us connect a conducting wire between b and c in our new circuit ab and cd are two capacitors in series Okay, and the effective capacitance of this system is C not by two. So now there will be redistribution of charges in this circuit. So let us see the redistribution. On A the charge is C V not by two. On the left side of B we have minus C V not by two, and on these two sides we'll have the charge as zero. and on c and d we will have cv not by 2 charge next this wire bc is removed when the wire bc is removed there is no redistribution of charge and the charge stays the same way next this battery is also removed the charge distribution on the plates still remain the same 
now a and d are connected by a conducting wire now let us close the switch what we need to observe here is when we are conducting these both plates by a conducting wire the potential of a and d must be the same so charges will redistribute such that the potential of a and d is the same so let us say x amount of charge has flown from a to d you had seen that there was charge flowing through this wire so let us say x amount of charge has flown so this will be the final distribution of charges so x charge has flown so the charge here will be cv0 by 2 minus x here minus cv0 by 2 minus of x so there is a, the total charge on this must be cv0 by 2 so the balance minus x appears on the other side of plate b and here it will be minus x and cv0 by 2 minus x here and here minus of cv0 by 2 minus x so we can write va equals to v the potential of a equals to the potential of d let us start from plate a and move towards plate d so potential of this plate is va so i'm writing va here uh, when we go from A to B, the potential drop is Q by C. So, I have written Q, CV0 by 2 minus X by C with a minus sign because it is a potential drop. Next, when we go from B to C, there is a potential gain and that is plus X by C. So, the charge is X here. Okay. So, plus X by C. Next, we go on from C to D. Again, the charge here is CV0 by 2 minus X. There is a potential drop. So, minus of CV0 by 2 minus X by C equals to the potential at D, which is equal to VD. When we solve this equation, we get the value of X as CV0 by 3. So, let us write the final charge distribution on these plates. So, the final charge distribution on these plates are CV0 by 6. This side minus CV0 by 6 cv0 by 3 and here plus cv0 by 3 here cv0 by 6 and on this side minus cv0 by 6 now we need to calculate the potential difference between a and b a and c and a and d so we can write va minus q by c so the charge here is cv0 by 6 and there is a potential drop from plus to minus so minus q by c equals to vb so we get va minus vb as v0 by 6 similarly writing the equations between plates a and c we get va minus vc is minus v0 by 6 and finally you can solve vb minus vd you'll get as minus v0 by 6 so i hope you have understood this question from electrostatics i will leave here and let us again meet in the next video